Good evening. How are you guys? Uh, I'm fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install an SSL certificate into Amazon Linux 2 using uh, Let's Encrypt. So let's get started. At first, we need to create an uh, EC2 instance. Uh, I'm in my EC2 dashboard. So let's create a new instance here, launch instance. Then I'm going to give it a name. Web server. Then I'm going to choose a uh, machine, Amazon Linux 2, 105. I'm going to choose T3 Micro. I'm going to choose a key pair. I already created a key pair previously. Oh, so we got the key pair. Uh, let's create a new key pair. I think download the key pair. Then for uh, network settings, I'm going to allow HTTP and HTTPS. That's it. Config storage, advanced settings. I need to create a new IAM role. The IAM role is uh, will be used to uh, connect to that instance using systems manager, SSM, AWS SSM. So let's create a role, role for uh, EC2. So uh, I'm going to use S3. Next, so I'm going to choose S3 full access. And then I'm going to use SSM. SSM full access, yes, this one. Click next, give it a name, EC2 role. Click role. Okay, the role has been created. So let's click here to refresh. Yeah, I should be able to see the role. The role is important because uh, this gives access to SSM. Otherwise, you cannot connect to that instance using SSM. Let me show you what I mean. Apart from this, everything I should keep as it is. And let's create the instance. Instances. This might take some time, so let's patience. Meanwhile, it is uh, installed and web service up and running. Let's go to my website and uh, there is a page I have created for instructions or commands, which you can just copy and paste to install the Let's Encrypt Apache and PHP. I will give this uh, web page link in the description of the video, so you can uh, easily copy paste all the commands and just run it. Okay, at first, we are going to run sudo yum update that will update the yum packages. So let's go here. 
click connect connect paste the command very simple then i'm going to copy this line this will enable php 7.4 at this moment the latest version of php is 8 and you can just change it by changes version from 7.4 to 8.0 so if you just change this variable number from 7.4 to 8.0 then it should work fine Click here. This enables Amazon Linux 7.4. You can see 7.4 is the latest number. Then I'm going to copy this command. And then I will uh, run this command. This will install HTTPD server, which is Apache server with mode SSL. Then I'm going to install PHP, PHP CLI, PHP MySQL, PHP PDO, and PHP Common. These actions are very, these extensions are very common, and um, it should satisfy all your needs. However, if you need more, there are some other extensions I also use. But this is uh, optional, and uh, I don't uh, force you to install this. But there is no harm just in copy paste and running this. Then let's start the HTTP server. Then sudo system sigil enable HTTP. So this will actually uh, enable the HTTP server. And when you reboot the system, the HTTP server, which is Apache server, will restart automatically. After that, we are going to install um, Let's Encrypt, and that will be done using the EPEL. So let's copy these two lines and paste it here. Ah. Then we are going to install Certbot, which is for Apache Certbot. After that, I'm going to run this sudo certbot apache. Give the email address. <coughs> yes. I accept their terms and conditions. Okay, I haven't created a virtual host, so I can just give it a name or I can just cancel it. Maybe I can do that later. So first they wanted to do is you need to create a virtual host and that virtual host, uh, we have a kind of a template for the virtual host configuration. I can just copy this, put it in a notepad and then change the domain names. This is a standard template and you can change it the paths as you need. So the first thing that I need to change the server path, I'm going to use uh, my domain knife2.com. So this is the domain, but I'm going to use a subdomain. So it should be like ssl.knife2.com. Then server alias, uh, at this moment, there is no server alias available, but if you have any server alias, you can just put it here. Document root, but www is that's fine. Server admin, that is also fine. I don't want to change this and just keep it as it is. Copy path. Then 
then I'm going to uh, create a config file here. It is cttpd config. Yes. Then I'm going to paste the whole content here. Okay, then I'm going to copy the IP address. Yeah, and uh, create a subdomain. SSL. Then I'm going to create the folder. So do NKG R I'm going to restart the Apache server. So do system CTL. Let me clear the screen. Let's make the screen slightly bigger. Okay. So then uh, what we have to do is we just go to run this command. Yeah, now we are seeing that there is a subdomain SSL and I'm going to use that. So I put the number one and Okay. So my SSL certificate setup has been done and there is the congratulations message that means all works fine. So if you go here you will see the test page. Let's add an index page here. So let's go to Let's create an index page here. So we are on index.php and put a PHP into here. Now let's refresh. Yeah, I should see that, that we have installed PHP 7.4. Here is the lock icon, which shows that our connection is secure and we have a valid certificate valid from 2nd of May till 31st of July, 90 days. So uh, we have uh, installed Apache, we have installed PHP, we have installed Let's it, and we have installed a SSL certificate for a subdomain. Now we can do anything we want. We can set up WordPress, we can set up any other applications into this project. Everything is ready and uh, we are good to go. So if you have any problems, uh, please come put a comment uh, in this video so that I can help you. And please subscribe to my channel so that I can create more of these kind of uh, videos to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.